Welcome to the Frozen Button Podcast this week. Thank you for joining us. I'm joined today by Taylor Mosman. Hello. And Zane Dayton. Hi. And I'm Derek Hansen. And last week was an experiment, I say. I thought it was a successful experiment. Kind of a pain on the tail end when editing it, but we got through it. Yeah, it took us all night long. <laughs> Basically. Gaming news, what's going on? I don't, I don't know. Mortal Kombat. <laughs> we've been we've been playing Mortal Kombat for like four days straight. It I've is, only been here for the past two. I've been working. It's still incredibly fun. It is way fun. <laughs> it's too much fun. It oh, I except you spammer. <laughs> That's all you do in Mortal his Kombat. Brother's worse you than button he mash. Is. His brother's much worse than he is. Okay, his brother only plays one character and only does like one move and blocks. And then one move. And he's such and a blocks. spammer. That, that's all you do. I'm telling that's you. That's not what you do. That's you, what you do in Mortal Kombat is you, you spam buttons. You, you well, experiment <laughs> with all the characters. By yeah. spamming buttons. You could go with uh, camping is a legitimate strategy. Camping? How do you camp in Mortal Kombat? Where are you going to go? Well, I'm you just crouch. likening it to... It's crouch in the corner. It's, kind of this, me, bro. it's the same excuse as camping is a legitimate strategy. Oh, it's a legitimate strategy. You cannot hate <laughs> I, I I don't know. I had uh, just the <laughs> hardest time with the fatalities at the very beginning. It was ridiculous. I couldn't do them all day today. I've really? never been able to do a fatality. I don't play enough for one thing, but I don't you know. Do I'm just it, not right? good with... You own the game, right? I do own it, but I, I only bought it on the latest Steam cell, and I've only just got the backup and installed it from there today. So okay. I've not actually played it. The last time I played it before these past two days was when somebody had it here on the Xbox and or PlayStation 3, and I actually played through the whole campaign. And I found directly after the campaign that I actually did better in versus matches. But button like button combos, memorization and stuff, they're really kind of not my thing. Yeah, agreed. I thought <laughs> I, I never thought of myself as a fighter kind of gamer. You're pretty good, though. No, I don't pro. know. I'm yeah, not, I, I don't. I'm not pro. No one. Well, there are people who are pro, but you don't really know people who are pro. But they're out Man, there. It's people who get people. People still get paid to play that game. <laughs> still. Yes, yeah, still. Specifically that one, or like the franchise. I think specifically that one. Hmm. Well, it makes sense with it being the most recent iteration with new tech and stuff. Like, I don't really know the timeline of Four Mortal Kombat, but I remember playing like. The oldest one on the PlayStation 2 at your house? That well, was, not the oldest one, but... It's not the... It was, uh, four. Four? Oldest. And I just... Four. I was kind of shocked by it at that point, like, when I first experienced that, because of how violent it was, so we would turn was, off the... That was probably the most violent and bloody game I owned at the time. At the time. <laughs> I thought, like, Halo wasn't even out at that time, right? And when it got to mm, that, I would have to sneak yeah. around to watch you guys playing it I didn't play it for like another three years after it first came out. You didn't play anything for another three <laughs> years. Yeah, I was kind of scared of my parents, <laughs> which is understandable, but... I just, uh, I finally beat GTA V. You've, oh, you played I, through the whole thing? I watched, I watched the ending. What we did at cool. the very end, okay, spoilers if you guys still want to experience the end of GTA V. If, you ha- if you're a loser like me and haven't beaten it yet... <laughs> I haven't even played through GTA 4. But you just I started said you it. it. I just can't get into it. Yeah, but there's there's three possible endings. Mm-hmm. Makes sense with three characters. Yeah, and one of the choices is to either kill Michael or kill Franklin. No, not Franklin, kill Trevor. Mm-hmm. And you had to choose. So I just saved at that point, and I just deci- I decided to do all three. <laughs> or, or, no, no, no. Or you can choose to save them both and accept the consequences. Turns out, the consequences are pretty good. <laughs> so, I did all three. Uh, I thought Killing Michael, that was just a terrible ending. I thought Trevor's was kind of a kind of a good ending. <laughs> well, Trevor is... He's quite the character. <laughs> oh, yeah. And saving them both, I just found, was, like, so fun. It was <laughs> so cool. Huh. Well... I actually might try playing through this one because it feels a bit different than GTA 4. And, well, I'll probably just wait until it comes out on PC whenever, if ever, that may be. But with how GTA 4 was accepted on the PC and then extremely modded by a lot of people, I think GTA 5 will 
someday make its way to PC. Oh, it, I think it has. Well, I know it's going to. I think they already have a date. There's, They're all just rumors. There's no concrete official statement. People are just speculating. And there's code that people have dived into that kind of hints that it might be already in development, but it's it's kind of uncertain. It's very uncertain. But huh. everybody wants it to be. No one's really sure. Only the people who develop are developing it, if they are developing it, actually know. Well, I hope it does. I'm I'm feeling excited for us PC gamers to be able to play that game together. Mm-hmm. I really enjoy D- GTA 4 on the PC. It's kind of a pain the first time to get it up and running just because of, I don't know, it's always, it's probably one of the roughest PC ports I've ever played. But with that experience behind them, they should be able to do a good port for uh, the GTA 5. I thought that I thought the story of uh, Lindsay Lohan suing was pretty funny. <laughs> it's ridiculous. When I don't I, think it looks like her at all. Like, I mean, if you look really hard, you can like, oh, it kind of looks the same, but oh my gosh, so they stupid. both have boobs. <laughs> it must be Lindsay Lohan. What if I had boobs? Yeah, can I, I went. Sue? I went and played the 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 missions that she was complaining about specifically, mm-hmm. and I was like, this is just paparazzi. <laughs> this is, except one of the missions were like. Too much information, guys. <laughs> yeah, it's just ridiculous how people jump on something that's got the loosest connection to anything else and claim unoriginality. I think she's or just copying. trying to cause attention and get money. Well, it's nothing new. She's, I mean, I don't follow her or anything, but she's kind of known to be someone to jump on stuff all the time. But <laughs> kind of on that note, when the artwork for GTA came out, and specifically that, people on Rooster Teeth were saying, that looks like Barbara. It so, kind of did look like Barbara, <laughs> but I actually think it looks more like I Justine. Yeah, a lot of people are saying that too, but and no one really knows the person who actually modeled for it. Oh, I can't remember the name off the I think top of the, my head. I think there is. Well, there is. I know the model. I don't remember the name, but Me neither. she actually vo- voices for something in the game too. Well, yeah, and she and that was the proof to prove people that it wasn't Lohan because they had the the pay script that they sent her for doing voice work and for model. And that's how Lindsay Lohan got owned by the <laughs> government. Not joking. By the government. <laughs> by Rockstar. League of Legend Riot. Oh yeah, Riot. I, I remember that. Is... Wait, what? <laughs> so that, that was something I want to talk about too. <laughs> Riot. You're playing now. Is... Yeah. Oh, I actually think I Did know you what you're going to say. That? About not being able to stream other games or play other games. Riot yeah. is banning all professional League of Legends players from playing any other game. Not playing. It's... Yeah, I know, but <laughs> streaming, promoting in any kind of way. But that's... the only thing they're allowing is use of alcohol. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of ridiculous. Like they can, they can't play uh, other competing games, but they can do alcohol they all they want. That's not like setting an example. <laughs> Though I guess that doesn't really matter in the long run. It sounds kind of silly at first, but it also kind of makes sense. If they're being paid to play that game, it's kind of like if I went to Burger King, since I work at Subway, if I go to Burger King and say, hey, this burger's awesome. I mean, it's not as tight-knit as bring that. Bring it back to I guess, your work. I guess you can say that, but <laughs> you can't like, film it and post it to the yeah, world. I could technically. I don't think I'd really get fired or anything, but it's kind I of... I honestly... A big corporation like Burger King, they could sue you, and they probably would. Not Burger King. It'd probably be Subway, if anything. But... Okay, let's say you go Subway, and you go into, and you're filming all this. You go into O'Rourke's, dressed up in a Subway <laughs> uniform and everything. You order it, and you say, yeah, this is totally better than Subway. I mean, <laughs> yeah, I work there, but <laughs> these sandwiches suck. And you post that, they will come after you. Don't think they won't. They might. I don't know if it would be the same since we live in this small of area, but definitely at, under a different... It's kind of different how Subway works, I think, oh than other ones, but I get what you're saying. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, which is actually funny, because when I was working at the Drink Subway, there was this uh, one family that would come in from time to time, and they would come in and order their sandwiches, but one of their kids, they would go to the Burger King first before it closed, and they would get one of their kids a burger, and he would have to bring it in while they ordered their sandwiches because he would not eat anything else except Burger King. 
when they went out to eat. <laughs> so he would, he would sit there in Subway with a Burger King and bag and stuff. It's kind of weird. Eh, it's him. <laughs> Paul Walker. You hear about that? Who? Paul Walker. Paul Walker. Um, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> the blonde actor of Fast and Furious movies. Oh, he died <laughs> he in an died. accident. He mm-hmm. died. Big accident. Yeah, I saw like, the picture. Have you seen the, the car? It was on no. Rooster, they Isn't showed the, the picture on Rooster Teeth podcast. It, did they? Yeah, they did. It's it not was, even a car anymore. No, it's it's, it's just scrap metal. Scrap. Holy and like, cow! And they mentioned how like the tree it it didn't move an inch. It just it's oh. just there and uh, <laughs> you don't think about how much damage can be done to a car, but they're not as strong as they look. <laughs> now what? Now what's interesting to me is they were right. They were in the middle of production for mm-hmm. the really? seventh movie. I thought they were heading to a charity event. No, 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 no. They weren't, again, the accident filming it. Oh! They were just in the middle of production. Okay. Mm-hmm. He died in the middle of the whole movie. Oh, okay. I didn't <laughs> no, look, they didn't, I didn't get the crash on camera. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, that's not what I was talking about. Yeah. <laughs> I just, sorry, I haven't looked much into it. Yeah, he was on his way to some charity, I think. I don't I'm know not what sure. he was doing. Unless they were just mentioning that. I, I've heard so many stories. I've heard he was a passenger. I've heard he was the driver. He was the driver, I'm pretty sure, but the passenger he was with did get killed too. Really? Everyone died in that crash. I think there are three. Victims. Three double kill. I'm not sure. I don't really funny. follow cere- celebrities, but it's sad that he died. And, yeah, it, and some people have been debating whether or not it, the movie's going to be canceled because it's you think, up in the air. I think I th- they could like write it out and have him. I think they're going to have to because the amount of money they put in it already is. Mm. If they if they stop now, it could be bad. Well, they could just get Vin Diesel, <laughs> unless he's already in it. Vin Diesel, of course, Vin Diesel's in it. See in every Fast and Furious. I've only seen kind of most of Tokyo Drift and okay, you need the a, first one. Okay, you need a movication. You need to go out and watch them. <laughs> I've kind of meant to, but car movies aren't really my thing. I thought the fifth one looked interesting with Dwayne Johnson, The Rock, in Mm it. It looked more. I think that's the sixth one, actually. Actually, I did see the one where they're running drugs. They're running drugs. It is? The fifth and sixth? Mm hmm. There's just so many. I actually think I did see the one where they were running. Uh, drugs across the Mexican border. That's like they go the into a cave and. Is that like that? might have been fifth. That's Maybe the fifth. It, that's the fifth? I thought that's the. Oh, one. no, no. Four? I think it might have been four, what but I'm not about? sure. It's the twelfth. Oh, my gosh. It's the twelfth. They're just all blurred to me. Well, aren't aren't the. Isn't chronologically they're all out of order, too? Like, stuff um, happens before other ones in later movies. That should happen That's only with Tokyo Drift. Or something. Tokyo Drift? That's only Tokyo Drift. Hmm. Tokyo Drift happens. After all of the movies, is the is the guy in that one a new character? The high school guy in Tokyo Drift? Yeah, yeah, he's just a, a side character. He's not in anything else. So there's nothing in Tokyo Drift that's really connecting it, except that there's car. Oh, Vin Diesel's at the end of it. Yeah, because because what's his what's the Asian guy's name? I don't know. The Asian DK? guy. No, not DK. It's D. K's friend, he's in six nice and se- seven too, mm-hmm. and I think a little fa- four. In my own. Mm-hmm. Well, I thought there was something about some character who is dead who shows up in later films. Like he died in one of the earlier ones, but then in the sequels he's back again, which means it takes place before those ones. I don't. Tokyo Drift happens. Okay, <laughs> just think about this. One and Big two. Ball of timey wimey stuff. Then one and know. two, and then four through five, four through six, and then Tokyo Drift. And That's Tokyo. the order. Hmm. Except we don't know if seven's gonna be. Yeah. I we don't know where something was mentioned about it being somewhere different. But I know the actor that ties it all in. He's not in it, so it very well could be, be Tokyo Drift. Very well could be between hmm. six and seven. Interesting. I guess I do have to watch those. <laughs> hmm. So yesterday when we uh, watched, had the Ruby screening, mm-hmm. 
thought there were going to be a lot more people showing up. Yeah, I did too, but apparently there was a, I don't know, not miscommunication because it was all there on the event. I mean, we have been planning it for a month and moving the date back and forth just because... Over and over <laughs> and over November again. was pretty darn busy, especially towards the tail end of it with Thanksgiving and uh, the play and stuff, but... I don't know why we didn't do it that first one. Why didn't we do it that first time? I don't know, maybe because it was so sudden. I'm not sure. But, yeah, both Marissa and Cheyenne thought it was actually yesterday, even though the event does say Friday the 6th at 6 o'clock. But... Uh, when Sapphire and Cheyenne went back to my house, I think they actually went and watched something else because there were three anime movies they'd brought up from my room up to the upstairs TV. Uh, but Cheyenne, Sapphire gave Cheyenne the Ruby DVD because I brought the Blu-ray here, so she'll probably watch that so she can see the whole thing. When Cheyenne came, <laughs> Zane was cute. Okay. I wasn't hitting on her, I swear. No, I know you weren't hitting on her. I was, I was like, you were sitting... making sure that I sat with her. Yeah, I was. Oh, right. I was, well, I was sitting right next to Derek, right I next to you. You were pretty obvious, too. I was pretty darn obvious. <laughs> You're like, I was like, oh, crap. Sco- here. We're like, you and hey, me are like Cheyenne, snuggling. I'm like, and then you push me off. Like, I was like, oh, crap, here she comes. <laughs> um, I'm going to just jump on the other side of the couch. Why couldn't she just sit next to you? I was like, right, no, Cyan, you can't sit over there. You have to sit right here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just had I to. I mean, I don't have a problem with her, but that was just a little extreme, don't you think? Not just a little, it was a lot. <laughs> it was, I'm sorry. I, I uh, had a good time with it. I could Whatever. have done, the, any more you could have done is got us all to leave very quietly, leave them, leave them alone for the last part of the movie. I would have, <laughs> I would have killed you all. <laughs> I would have done uh, it. It was fun. <laughs> you enjoyed it. You liked it. I liked the movie. I, I, don't, I don't like her. What? Of course you do. No, I don't. I'm making sure you do. You have no say in the matter, Derek. <laughs> what you have a say well, in the matter? Well, the reason I date. they're not nope. dating anymore. Yeah, there's a reason we're not dating anymore. I see no reason. <laughs> I'm sorry. What, you yeah, stupid? I, was... <laughs> I try. <sighs> <laughs> you... Now I'm just comparing you to Nora for some reason. I feel like I'll jump you like her. Dance for the win. I thought. <clears throat> I thought it was good. I do see what you mean by it's not the best anime, mm-hmm. but it's, I still love it a lot more than a ton of anime. I never really intended to be anime as you would think of anime is, but they in internally they do call it an anime, but mostly it's just like a homage and taking a lot from anime. It's kind of like The Last Airbender does. It's kind of the same thing and in yeah. their own style. Yeah, I see but, what you mean. The place where they really show it is just kind of the fighting is where they kind of surpass where other animes do things because some animes do have great action and stuff, but Monty's just got this this way with fights and in motion in general that just really pops, makes it stand out. Yeah. And that soundtrack, that's really stands apart from a lot of stuff too. Hey, hey, I wait. bought it the second it came out. Did you win? Yeah, I won. I was <laughs> the best Malphite in a dude. I ulted one person and then got wrecked by the team, but I still won. Oh, I, great. <laughs> my talent went pentakill on that. Actually, with you cool. talking about Lowell, that reminds me that there was a lot of discussion about uh, Penny's character, Think and people would think she was based off of one of those the law characters. Who's, who's Penny? Penny? Penny was the, one the girl with the, the big swords, swords coming out of the pack. Throwing the swords around. Kind, it's sort of like oh um that's Irelia. Like, that's like the very yeah. last fight. I really uh, everybody. I, I actually th- I actually thought of that when I was watching. It. I was like, holy <laughs> crap! The thing is though, is that it's kind of been a point of contention because a lot of people are saying Aurelia, but then there's in I'll Monty's put... early dead fantasy is something he did way before he worked with Rooster Teeth. Uh-huh. There's a character. It's actually a nominees in Kyrie's character. You'll see what I mean if you ever watch Dead Fantasy, but her fighting style is exactly like Penny's. But he also probably took that from something that's earlier called a character that's like a cyborg or something from a anime he's. I feel seen. like Penny is a cyborg. I that's think what she I is. Think I, like, well, the cyborg blades are like or out android of... or something, but there's a lot of stuff that's possible because I just, she's socially awkward in the form that she doesn't know how life works yet. <laughs> so I'm, I'm like dead set. But also, she's a also, robot. um, in um. The yellow-haired girl, like y- Yang, Yang, 
her gauntlets totally reminded me of Vi. Vi, I don't know. Is that another? It's LOL another character? LOL character, yeah. And um, wait, is that the one with the big, fist? the big fists? Yeah, yeah, dude. I've actually also seen comparisons between Yang and the Black Rock Shooter character. Really? Yeah. Well, I was thinking more Black Rock Shooter and Jinx from LOL. Who's your favorite fighting style? In Ruby. Yeah. I uh, like I like Ruby. Ruby's is pretty darn cool because of she's so small and she's flinging her herself around when she fires her weapon. Uh, but probably Sun. Just because his weapon's so darn awesome. Oh my gosh. Sun's the gun chucks. <laughs> no. But Ruby we also all the way. There's still Ruby. a lot of stuff I just feel we like we seen. have we haven't gotten to the tournament yet. I feel like the <laughs> fighting's gonna really show for itself in the I tournament. I really hope they show a lot for and that. And I'm excited for and Sun. And we haven't we haven't really seen we saw, saw that big battle, but it's kind of hard to focus on one character's fighting style in a big battle between those two things. That's like, something that this anime is a lot different from other animes. Is huge scale stuff. Is is the fighting style is so fast. Mm. And it you is. know what I mean? Yeah. Kind of. Because I feel like other animes... <laughs> I'm just gonna <laughs> Dragon go Ball Z. Naruto. I'm going to go off Naruto. <laughs> what? No, Dragon Ball Z. Naruto <laughs> is like... Are you kidding? Naruto he is... for three years. <laughs> <laughs> Dragon Ball, Z. Oh, Dragon Ball Z does it too. <laughs> These animes say how they're going to fight. They fight. And then they tell how they just fought. You know what I mean? <laughs> I yeah. know exactly what you mean. There's actually a description I read on a site about, not specifically about Naruto, uh, but it's it's actually a tag. It's for any show where they pause for long periods to talk, and they say, there's a time period where they can have a cup of tea while they speak. While the enemy can have a cup of tea while the... <laughs> The good people are talking about stuff. Who knows what? And I feel like they should, like, take Naruto and, like, re-edit them into, like, movies or something. Yeah. Where they I, cut out all when the I was watching that. But the thing, that's, that's kind of why out. I liked um, Fairy Tale. I mean, it's it's got some of that, but mostly it's really fast-paced and it moves. To the point. It, it moves fairly quickly. Like, well, it makes sense because Fairy Tale came out after all of these pop, like, Bleach one Piece, Dragon play. Ball, and Naruto. Mm -hmm. They're all the ones that are like well known as the base for man fighting shonen shows. They're called shonen. Shonen. If you don't really know the term, but okay, mm -hmm. let's just like take the Naruto's like three hundred and thirty episodes long. Mm -hmm. What if you take out um, all the fillers, <laughs> all fillers, all flashbacks, and all explanations? Well, there's you actually... can limit that down to a about forty episodes. Well, yeah, probably. Maybe a little bit longer. Well, the thing is, it's actually longer, but... fine within the first, like, uh, first original Naruto because, I mean, you're still being introduced to the world. Mm -hmm. But on Naruto Shippuden, no one's going to jump in on Naruto Shippuden to start watching it. If you're watching Naruto Shippuden, you've been watching it since the beginning. Yeah. And actually, I've got a. I found the chart. I've saved this for. I've had this saved for a long time. The original Naruto, 89 of the 220 episodes are filler, which is 40%. Of the whole first thing, so there's almost wait half. all of Naruto, all of the original Naruto when they were I, younger. I thought it was more than that. It's forty percent, but it's kind of skewed because some episodes are half filler and half actual thing. Like the last episode of the. But we can't give away spoilers. If I'm we're not going. saying okay, oh, but we're just last... saying like episodes. Oh, yeah. Well, who cares about filler spoilers? Yeah, filler <laughs> well, spoilers. anyways, the last episode People before they fillers. start the two year gap, it's actually the last. Half of it is the end of like the manga before the two year gap, and the part before that is a fight that has there's it doesn't matter at all, there's no point in it. And then also for Naruto shipping in right now, they're at 37 percent filler, but there's actually better fillers I feel in Naruto shipping in like the three tails arc, and there's a one called the power arc, which is actually more of a movie that was aired as episodic than an actual episodes. Yeah, I watched all the Shippuden. I've only watched one filler and that Fillers. was the one where it's the other nine tails. The other nine tails? Oh Sora? Yeah. The I, guy who was at the wind I didn't temple. I didn't realize huh? that yeah it was a wind temple. You didn't realize I didn't it realize it was a filler and I was so far into it I was like ah, I just might as well finish it. <laughs> yeah I didn't really realize it either until the end I just thought it started getting a little weird. Yeah for how the I don't know how all the things were going back and forth but, but it was a cool one it was pretty good it got a little weird towards the end with like the zombies and stuff <laughs> I thought the stupidest yeah. thing was that the leaf village gets massive damage again 
right after yeah. all the other stuff, and then wait, was this after Pain? This no, this was before. This is before but that. it was there was still something else that had happened recently. That something had happened in the village, and then two years previously there was Orochimaru, and then and then a few months later there's Pain. <laughs> I just thought yeah. another Nine Tails was going to be an interesting fight. That would have been interesting, but it didn't. It didn't. Um. Well, it didn't go out as long forever. as I thought. I thought he actually would like become the Nine Tails, yeah, and then they have of, to take it out. Kind of that. disappointing. But it was a disappointing ending, but yeah. Sometimes though, you've got to weigh the journey over the ending because sometimes the ending can ruin it. But if it's a good journey, you can kind of forgive it as long as you just uh, remember the good parts. As long as the ending, <laughs> I'm I'm okay with the ending as long as I know there's more to it. Mm-hmm. Well, there's not more to it because they really like cut that character off. He just left. He yeah. is gone. He didn't go back to anywhere we know where to find him. Who? <laughs> the oh, Sora. The oh. guy with the claw. <laughs> the monster <laughs> hand. True. Him. He just up and vanished. <laughs> <laughs> and that's actually also another thing is uh, about Jin Shuriki and him having the power of the Nine Tails is that there was actually another filler arc uh, that had to do with one of the tailed beasts, the Jin Shuriki, and. It was the bubble guy. Do you know who the bubble guy yeah, is? Yeah, I know him. Did you watch that arc? No. No? I didn't watch well, any of them. It's actually quite a large arc, but there's this girl he's protecting. He's, like, at this temple. But at the very end, it goes back to being part of, like, the manga. And it's something that's only, like, a chapter or something in the manga. And the Akatsuki are after him. And you see that he could, he's a Jinchuriki. And you don't know that until later, really. Does he... Does he fully? Transform? Yeah, it shows the Jinchuriki. I think oh, the yeah. that's the an Jinchuriki, episode I should watch. Beast. Well, it it kind of starts out okay too, but this one's a lot more rough than the one with the okay. other guy. <laughs> I have another question. Shoot, mm-hmm. and this is spoilers for anyone who hasn't watched Naruto. Spoilers. What's your favorite sentimental moment? Sentimental moment. That would be. Uh, I know, I used to remember the episode number, but it's where he meets his mom. Oh, that's a good one. That is m- probably my favorite. That's a way good one. In the very beginning of Shippuden, though, it was when, <laughs> super spoiler, Gara died, and then at the end of that, he comes back. Oh, I was supposed to say Gara died? <laughs> I, and I was <laughs> well, like, oh, he, yeah, he, he did die. Oh, yeah, he died. He's back. He died. And he's, not gin- was... he's not a Jinjeriki anymore, is he? Nope, he's not. But he's still insanely awesome. <laughs> yeah. But Agreed. That I, was the... But I'm wondering... How much more awesome would he be with the Jin Jerky power? Because he'd be able to control a ton more. Mm-hmm. Well, like, He's... well, like you said when um the bubble guy. I don't know his name or. Uh, I, I don't remember. His name. He had but, the weirdest name. I think. But when that girl was following him around and like she just really wanted to be with him and like stuff. That calling was, him master. Yeah. She wanted to, and then to when, be her teacher. Uh, yeah. And then when he gets captured and taken away, that was pretty sad. Yeah, that was kind of sad, but it only but really it, works if you've been you follow that arc. But the arc's almost not worth it. They I brought mean, it. Okay. They brought it back up in the fight. They usually do. Between which is another Madara thing is they have a lot Naruto. of flashbacks. They do. Yeah, but which is like sometimes okay, okay but flashbacks but also not. Sonata and like the people that died. Oh yeah, I guess spoiler. But <laughs> <laughs> sometimes I think it's too much of the same flashback. Mm-hmm. Well, like, but yeah, do you remember Sonata and, like, her little brother gets killed? Sonata? The new Hokage. Sonata? Tsunade? Yeah. Tsunade. Sorry. Hello. Calm down, Sailor. So Go home, Sailor. So you're so high right now. But We're talking about Naruto. And. You want to get in on this? Yeah, let's go. Take a seat. I have a blanket. Oh, no, it's fucking hot. <laughs> Uh, just, well, where, where were we? Sentimental moments. Oh. Sentimental moments. I have two. The first one was the moment no, I, where I Naruto. Okay, how's the movie? Uh, no, <laughs> okay. You're derailing. My my two favorite moments was the moment where Naruto. And I cannot remember his name, <laughs> the Nine Tails, but he has a name. QB. But that's not what they call him. QB uh, is the name for nine tails. Yeah, QB his means real nine tails. Is, uh, it's only been a, and they have that nice chibi yeah, sing along song too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they don't call it QB in that Wait, song. Wait, are you even caught up? 
Yeah, I'm, okay. actually, I haven't seen this week's. I need to do that sometime. It. Mm-hmm. Let's see, Nine Tails name. Yeah, figure that out. My favorite moment is when those two. Oh, oh I'm just coming yeah, up with Pokemon okay. stuff now. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's coming up with Nine Tails as the Pokemon. <laughs> just see, anyway, two. my my first favorite moment is when they fist pump. Kurama. Do you guys remember that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for that because that was in the opening of that. They're just like, it shows the little little nine tails and the big nine tails and then fist bump. Oh, that was the yeah. coolest moment. That was like, they finally accept just each other. waiting for that. <laughs> My second favorite moment is the moment when Sus- Sasuke realizes that his brother like, was, actually a like, hero. was actually saving mm. his life. Yeah, <laughs> and that moment where he was crying at the be- the shores, and I started crying so hard at that point. Everyone, uh, everyone cries, and I just don't. People, I, I'm stone hearted. I guess you're gonna cry at the end. People cried no, the watched, second time he died I when watched, he was reanimated. I didn't cry during that part. I watched Clan Ad, and everyone's like, "Oh, you're gonna cry watching Clan." I didn't. Oh, I cried. I didn't. I, cried as a baby. That I was, didn't. That was horrible. It was uh, sad. I'm gone. I'm, I, okay, it was sad. Was you depressed. have finished Clan Ed then. Yeah, I did. I finished it. I haven't it. started yet. After I have it. Have spoiled it. I don't know if it'll I, be the same asked. for you, I, but I did. it's... I should have... I'm, I'm going to attempt like, it. No spoilers. I'm it's going not, to attempt it. Uh, yeah, okay, it's a good idea to good. attempt it. I, it's... For you, though, I think the first season is going to be kind of a drag. I think it'll be But the second season is where it really picks up. Okay. Even though it's not really... I guess it is a second season. But I just, you kind of refer to the whole thing as Clan Ed, even though it's Clan Ed and Clan Ed After Story. But anyway, Naruto, I didn't, they just, I mean, the whole thing, a lot of people don't hold sway about it being, like, actually that great, except for the people who actually watch it. But if you're, you've been watching it since the beginning, then you're going to get hit by some pretty, pretty hard moments. Yeah. Deep moments. Agreed. It's going to end soon, is what I heard. Uh, relatively. The manga is ending soon but the anime is actually still a little ways behind isn't so. the voice actress for naruto already done she's just she's getting over it <laughs> she's like i'm done this is like 500 episodes <laughs> i'm getting tired of it guys it makes sense yeah. I, but i feel like it's gonna end once madara is dead i don't know if i don't know die. things are yeah he's gonna all up in the she's air. You don't know what yeah. they're gonna do with this. <laughs> He's kind of right there, like. And I, they resurrected me. I'm gonna stay resurrected. <laughs> oh, to this. oh, you're talking about Madara, not Madara. You're talking about the first Hokage. Because, well, That's... who is Madara? But I okay. was confusing him with. There's two Madara. Toby. Toby. We're not talking about Toby. Toby. No, I'm I talking about Toby right now. Yeah. Toby. <laughs> when Toby like dies, Toby. when Toby dies, <laughs> I think. You're so cool. Oh, I miss Toby's voice. I know. I miss it was Toby. Like, cool. Toby, Toby. I miss Toby so much. But now it's Madara. <laughs> uh, but it's not Madara. It's but it's Toby. not. I don't know. Shh. I don't know if everyone knows That's, that. Does ev- is that really like confirmed? I think so. I read the manga. Oh, okay. Oh wow. What the fuck? What the fuck? Wow. Just, I'm, that is what major I spoiler. Mind blown all of you. Well, well you, I had my suspicions. You and me, had, <laughs> Until you now. And me talked about Just this, so I know. Just look at his eye. You know how the mask is like one? He only has one eye. Well, I didn't realize his, that, but... <laughs> the half of his face was smushed by a boulder. Didn't I so thought insane. my yeah. first... That serious? Yeah, it makes yeah. sense, but it didn't make sense to me for uh, a long time. I first thought that Toby was that uh, evil hot... Oh, what is his name? The, the guy who had a spleen. Uh, yes. Crap. Spleen. Oh. I hated him. <laughs> I hated him so much too. Danto. Danto. I thought my yeah, first thought Z. that Toby was Danto <laughs> yeah. because Danzo. Just the same. He comes up this eye, and Toby shows this eye. That would actually not be a. And they had the exact same hair. <laughs> exact. I think same that's hair. the point. Like I think that's the point of that character. But then he goes and gets killed by Sasuke. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was like, well, no. The point where I figured out that they weren't people is when they actually saw each other face to face. I was like, mm. well. That's not gonna work. <laughs> I gotta yeah. figure something else out. But yeah, I okay. there's actually there's a fan. Kashi and then he turns into Toby. The girl. Girl. She died. Kashi killed her. What? Kashi killed her. What? Kate, don't spoil that. Wait, what? Yeah, this this woman does. What? You have to wait. Well, we need to wrap up. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us. This is FCB Podcast. We're out.